Sails, Wheels, and Wings: The Story of Transportation by Sophie Lilienthal. Long, long time ago, before trains and trucks and ocean liners and planes, people walked from one place to place and carried their loads on their backs. People cannot carry very heavy loads. Many animals can. The little burro can carry heavy loads across the sandy deserts. The camel carries loads. It is easier to drag a heavy load than to carry it. The Indians fixed two poles on their horses and tied their loads across these for the horses to drag. In the snow-covered lands of the north, loaded sleds are drawn by dogs. Men found that they could pull heavier loads if they rolled them along on logs, but logs are heavy. They used slices of logs and attached them to a kind of platform. This made a wagon which an animal could pull. Oxen are pulling this wagon. Now the milkman comes every morning in this wagon which a horse pulls. Animals are very slow and get tired. Engines and wheels do not need to rest. Men had to find a way to make wheels go without using animals. Steam is strong. Steam is so strong that it can push piston rods and make wheels go around. Men built steam engines. At first, they were very small and could not go very fast. The water in the tank was heated to make steam. The electric engine can pull trains too, but it does not need coal. The electricity makes the wheels go. The streamlined trains go very fast. Soon, all our trains will be streamlined. Trains run on tracks. The signal tells the engineer to go ahead, to go slowly, or to stop. In the day coach, sit the passengers who go only a short distance. When the journey is long, the passengers sleep on the train in berths. There is a kitchen on the train where the cooks prepare the food for the passengers. The passengers can sit on this little porch and look out. The observation car is the last car on the passenger train. In the mail car, the workers get the letters ready to go to different places. All that go to the same city are put in the same mail bag. Trains carry things. Different things are carried in special cars. These tank cars gather gasoline for automobiles. The stock car carries cows, pigs. And sheep from the farms to the cities, so that we can have meat to eat. The hopper car carries coal, sand, and gravel. The doors at the bottom open up to unload the car. Refrigerator cars keep food cold so that it does not spoil on hot days. The little doors at the top of each end are opened and cakes of ice put in. Some refrigerator cars are like big thermos bottles and do not need ice to keep things fresh. The men who work on freight trains live in the caboose, which is always at the very end of the long freight trains. The men sleep and eat in the caboose. The trolley car runs on tracks on the street. It stops at street corners to let passengers off and on. Elevated trains run on tracks above the city streets. In the big cities, people live far from the places where they work. Every day, they have to travel back and forth on the subway. The subway train. Runs on tracks under the streets of the city. Autos need gasoline to make them go. Today, autos are very different from the first autos long ago. The first automobiles look like this. The bus is a very big automobile. There is room for many passengers. Trucks are big automobiles that can carry heavy loads of things. Wood floats in water. Long, long ago, men found a way to cross rivers on wood. When they wanted to go faster, they used oars and paddles. When they saw that the wood could push their boats, they made sails to catch the wood's push. Later, they made big ships that could carry heavy cargoes. These ships needed many sails, but sails need wind, and the wind does not always blow. Sometimes it blows the wrong way. Men found a way to make ships go without using the wind. Steam could make things move. They put steam engines in their ships. The steam makes the ships go even when there is no wind. Big ocean liners cross the sea. When the ship is at the dock, the sailors let down the gangplank for the passengers to get on and off.
for the porters to carry luggage. The ocean journey takes several days. The passengers sleep in rooms called cabins. Many cooks prepare the meals for the passengers in the large kitchens on the ship. The machinery that makes the ship go is deep down in the ship, below the waterline. High up on the mast is the crow's nest, where the sailors can see far over the sea. The little towboat pulls the big ocean liner into dock. For short trips, there is a ferry. Is the ferry boat, which carries people, cars, and trucks. Freight ships have high derricks and booms to lift the freight into the ship. Then the cargo is put in the hold. Barges bring the cargo to the freight ships or docks. Barges have no motors. Tugs pull the barges. Car floats are big barges that carry trains across the water. People have always wanted to fly through the air like birds. For a long time, they tried to do this. They made the balloon. It is a large ball made of cloth with air or gas. A car hangs from it, in which the passengers are carried. The blimp is filled with gas, just as the balloon is. The blimp can be steered, but the balloon can only float through the air. Dirigible is made of aluminum and cloth. It has a motor and rides through the air. In the control cabin, the men pilot the ship. A hangar is a kind of garage for airships. The parachute looks like an umbrella and carries people through the air down to Earth. The first airplanes were like bicycles with wings attached. Today, airplanes carry passengers and mail and freight. They travel faster than the fastest trains. The plane carries passengers. The plane carries freight and mail. Here sit the men who pilot the plane. The seaplane can land in water because it has a body like a boat. This seaplane carries passengers, mail, and freight. Some planes can come down on both the water and the land. They look like seaplanes and have big wheels on the side. The autogyro lands easily and does not need much room for taking off. The airport is well marked and lighted up at night so that the pilot can see where to land.